How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review Daredevil Season 2 Episode 11 Title 380. This is a spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode on Netflix, man. Uh, after this, two more reviews. Episode 12 and Episode 13, of course. So, Daredevil Season 2 has been fantastic, man. Marvel has done it yet again. Netflix, man, them teaming up. Always beautiful. Daredevil Season 1, freaking amazing. Jessica Jones, fantastic. Season 2 again of Daredevil, holy crap, yes, bring it in, three, season three, season four, season five, season six, I need it all, man, so I'm ready, it's almost sad, because I love DC, and I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel, I, I love these shows, man, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Gotham, all these shows, and then you have Daredevil, and then once you go back to regular life TV, once you go back to, like, Flash, and Arrow, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you're kind of like, oh, back to this again. Oh, this is TV. Is this what you call a superhero show, guys? No, that Daredevil, though. Now, that's real TV. So, anyway, let's get right on to it, man. Um, again, spoiler review. Should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode. Give the post content final score. Let's get uh, to it. Need a pop tart right now. Daredevil fights the hand at the hospital, man. Claire, Claire's friend is dead. I believe it's Lou. Lucia, I don't know what her name was, but she was like in front of Claire, and then basically the the hand basically soared to the chest, and she's dead, man. I was I was like, oh shit, Claire almost died too. So anyway, the the kids are taken by the hand and they disappear. Karen is with police guards, and she goes to, or she's she's like with police, like a. Someone put police guards on her, and she's at this hotel, and they're like, Ma'am, we're going to be right outside. You need us. You call us. Anyway, she escaped from there and went to the parking lot area where Frank Castle's in a car, and he's listening to some funky music, man. And he's like, shit. Man, imagine if I sing this. That'd be it, man. And I just love how he's just, like, enjoying the music, and she's like, she turns off the music and everything. It's all serious. Like, Frank, this is serious. I love how Frank was just listening to the music. That was really cool. So they go to a diner, and they talk a little bit, man, you know, just doing some talking. He's, you know, ma'am, can I have a little bit more black coffee? You know, I just, I love the way Frank was just so, <laughs> so there, man. And just the black coffee and drinking, keep him coming, you know. <laughs> Going on, and Karen's like, uh, Frank? <laughs> then he's like, all right, this is what you need to do. You need to go to the back, and you need to take the people to the back. There's two, there's people looking at us in the car. They're going to be coming in. I'm going to take care of it. So two guys show up, and there's basically this big old fight, man. Frank ends up killing both of them. Uh, and he basically tells Karen, stay away from me. So Claire quits her job, man, because they're going to be covering up all the incident of what the hand did. They're covering it all up, the people who own the hospital. Uh, Electra is going after Stick, kills his guards, and basically Daredevil searches for the blacksmith during this episode. He fights a few guards. And he finds Madame Gao, of course, from season one, man, of course, which will connect to Iron Fist. Madame Gao's connection to Iron Fist, man, so that's cool. So he ends up talking and basically gets info on the blacksmith that maybe, or Frank Castle gets info from the guy he killed that he's going to be at the docks, the piers, that's where the blacksmith is at. And Daredevil ends up going to the pier as well. So Frank is there and he fights a few people. Uh, he's shooting and Daredevil, like, I love how just, like, Frank is just, like, and, like, Daredevil's just, like, hitting people, and then, like, all you have is, like, Frank with a sniper out loud hitting people and everything. And then he finds the guy who's supposedly the blacksmith. He's not the blacksmith, Daredevil, and Punisher fight. Uh, reinforcements come. Frank throws Daredevil into the ocean, and basically there's this huge explosion. Oh, my God, Frank Castle's dead! Have you seen the promo art for Daredevil and all that? He has a skull and everything. No, he's not dead. You don't kill Punisher off like that. Anyway, so everyone thinks he's dead. Cops arrive. Electra confronts Stick. Claire and Foggy leave the hospital as well, man. Foggy's let go. He's, you know, healing up. And Claire's just sort of like, oh, quit my job today. So what did I think about this episode overall, ladies and gentlemen? Let me give you the pros first off. Holy crap, John Bernthal as Frank Castle, man. Very awesome this episode. I love we got to see a little bit more of him. Him and Karen, the chemistry there. Them talking, them at the diner. I think the diner scene was one of the best scenes out of the whole episode. The action in here from Daredevil fighting Madame Gal's guards. The choreography. All of it is always well, man. 
the opening of the episode where Dead Devil fights the hand at the hospital and then Claire hopped out and she hit the the guy and he fell from uh, his to his demise and that that scene man you got to remember when Claire falls out the window and Daredevil's like Whoosh, and he's falling in the air dude and he grabs her and they swing in broke it breaking a window and everything that was really awesome uh, the dialogue in here all the dialogue is amazing for each and every character Claire how she she moves on Claire, Claire I love how Claire just is like I quit you know you're you're covering up this incident and she just she moves on basically this girl was trying to defend her and be like oh I got you to keep your job no I ain't gonna be covering up that incident man Claire ends up leaving she, she's like I'm done. And I, I just love how she ended up moving on. She doesn't have to be at the hospital anymore. We'll get to see, hopefully, a little bit more of her in Season 3. So, Madam Gao. Seeing Madam Gao, I didn't expect... I expected Madam Gao at some point in this the season, but I didn't expect her to be in this specific episode. Uh, that was really cool that we got to see her, you know, like, Madam Gao, my grandma, you know. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, the ending as well. Foggy... Or not the ending, but Electra confronts Stick. I thought that was something interesting because Stick is... Getting ready, you know. Uh, you know, I can't tell if Stick's a good guy or if he's a bad guy. He's kind of like that that in between sort of thing, like where he'll do bad, but he's also, you know, he'll he's helping, but yet he's just he's, he's not a good, you know, he's not a good apple at the same time. The effects, the slicing of the hand, because the hand has the kids and they're taking their blood still, and this guy has a sword and just slices the guy's hand open and all the blood and they're all happy and like they're in the barrel just bleeding out. That was awesome as well, the effects there. And Frank is funny, of course, the music in the car, a little ads on, add on like that. The only cons I have about this episode, honestly, the hand escaped with the kids. That sort of thing. Like, really? The hand, like, really, they all escaped without, you know, not being found or caught and... The, the, the error from the, the pipes came, came out, excuse me, and Daredevil was like, ah, like that. And I'm thinking, like... Dare, you're Daredevil, dude. Go through it, man. Go and get them, man. But they escaped, of course, so that's your fault, Matt Murdock. The whole explosion, Frank dead thing. Oh, my God, he's dead. That whole thing there, man, I kind of thought that was a little bit out of proportion. Like, the whole explosion, the big freaking... That sort of thing. Um, not showing headshots. I had a pro like a little thing with that. Like this, this show gets bloody. It gets intense at times, man. But Punisher, it's like you did see a headshot, but you don't see like the Punisher always killing each and every victim. I was kind of like, show the brutalness, man. Punisher wars, they weren't afraid. They fucking went for it, man. Go a little bit like that, man. The guard tells Matt about Stick. See, because you know Electra's going after Stick, and Electra stabs one of the guards, and he drives to Matt Murdock, and he's like, Stick. Electra got to him. Like, what happens if Matt Murdock wasn't at his house? What happens if he was out in the city somewhere? Why would he drive to Matt Murdock's house? Plus, you're gonna die within a few minutes. Why do you need to tell him that Stick's gonna die? Why? I mean, you're gonna die. Why would you care? I mean, you're, you're gonna be dead. Who cares? Just die. Why do you have to go tell Matt, oh, it's Stick's Electra? I was just like, that's kind of nitpicking there, obviously, but why? Why do you have to go tell Matt? What happens if he wasn't at the house? What made you think he was at his house? I'm just kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, that's just me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to end up giving this episode an A-. minus. I thought it was a really great episode, man. Uh, really good action. Frank Castle was amazing in here. Of course, the choreography, the writing, all that, man. So, comment down below. Tell me your favorite part about this episode. I'll be seeing you for episode 12 and 13. Until next time, bye-bye.